In today's Thanksgiving special video, we will be opening some first edition packs like Invasion of Chaos. What's up guys, we're back with another video and yes, my voice is still not fully there. I get it, you don't have to let me, you can let me know in the comments. I know, I know, it sounds bad. It's getting there though, it's getting there. And since it is Thanksgiving, I decided let's do a little bit of a special video, open some old school packs. Not everything's first ed, but I do have first ed Invasion of Chaos and a few others, plus a bunch of other original packs as well. And I think you guys are really gonna like. But before we hop into it, we have a very special Thanksgiving giveaway. I know, it's Rarity Collection. You've seen it a lot before, but can you really beat a Rarity Collection Booster Box giveaway? I don't think so. so just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what your favorite pack is we open today, what you're thankful for on Thanksgiving. Let's get into it. All right, guys, before we actually hop into it, I wanted to say I'm very thankful for all of you guys and supporting me for now like four years, basically, of like actual, you know, like big, you know, views and stuff like that since the beginning when, you know, early on we had a few years there where I was making videos, nobody was really watching. So I appreciate all you guys who have showed up since 2020 when that LLB video blew up. There's another thing I'm thankful for as well. The day I'm recording this, which is a couple days ago, is the one year anniversary of the Magic the Gathering 30th anniversary thing. If you, I'm sure you guys all remember that. And obviously that was a terrible time for the channel. Thanksgiving day was actually when it all kind of blew up. It was a horrible time for the channel, probably the lowest point we hit at some point. So I'm really happy that we've, you know, we've recovered from it. And I'm thankful that all you guys stuck with me and everything. So I just wanted to say that because I noticed I was like, wait a minute, wasn't that last year? It was last year. I can't believe it's been a year already. So I did throw in a couple of ghosts in the past uh, packs in here. You know, obviously we got to get that dark magician. That's really the only thing new. I do have a couple of reprint 2017 uh, LOB packs as well, just because I didn't have any LOB and I figured we need LOB, right? It's got to be in here. We got Laval Vol Dragon, Hieratic Seal. Uh, CRU. I know some of you guys, I, I, I see the feedback sometimes. Some of you guys are like, oh, I don't really like old school anymore. I've seen too much of it. I know, but it, it's always going to be a part of the channel. We're going to be opening old school packs. And the cool part is like, you don't really see Legacy of Darkness and stuff like that because it didn't get the reprint as much. So I'm opening some stuff like Ferrana Guardian Ancient Sanctuary today. So that should be fun. Invasion of Chaos First Dead. We hardly ever get to open that, but we've gotten to open it twice recently, which is pretty crazy. And I may never open it again, to be honest. That's like, a really hard box to get but i figured if we're gonna do a special you know it's got it's got to be old school right one two three four let me know in the comments are you burned out on old school or do you still like watching it because i personally still love opening it so if you know if, if they don't do as well as some of like the new stuff sometimes but as long as you guys like it i'm gonna keep doing it think medium we have wolf axe wielder secret of the bandit and i like it so it means i'm probably more likely to do it skull knight number two we have dragon's rage it never gets old searching for injection fairy lily yada garasu because like i pulled them a couple times but like it's not enough you know you need to, you need to just keep pulling it hard to clear water and fusion sword mersame blade now it, this one does get old because i pull it every single time okay so we do have several legacy darkness packs i'm gonna do one of the lobs pretty early because it is a 2017 reprint which you know, nowadays we're going to be opening a lot of 25th anniversary, not so much the 2017. So these are kind of like old school in a way, which is pretty fun. I'm going to do, I think you do that for that pack trick. We have Dissolve Rock, Mystical Sheep number two, Immoyer numero uno, Sogan, Follow Wind, Hitatsumi Giant, Laser Cannon Armor, Carbon Olive Warrior, and the Turtle Tigre. All right, Turtle Tigre. Let's open an Ancient Sanctuary pack. So I have a first dead Ancient Sanctuary. No, I have a couple first deads. Wait. I need the unlimited pack. Let's do that one first. Yeah, unlimited. There we go. 449. Unfortunately, not anymore. These days, you can get the 25th anniversary is probably around that for now. So actually less than that. Uh, if you're going to buy a booster box of them right now. One, two, three, four. Can we get uh, oh, Moki Moki? That's a pretty nice common. I want to get out of here. Enemy controller. We pulled it recently. I want to pull it again. Moki Moki. We have uh, Vampire Lady. Moki Moki is actually like a good common. Chani Fitting Room. Wall of Revealing Light, another decent common. Armor Break, Judgment of the Desert. Absorbing Kid from the Sky, Goblin Thief, and oh, a Needle Burrower. Okay, there we go, super rare. I still don't have my high ranges, as you guys can tell. Normally when I would be like, yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that right now. So it's probably better for some of you guys who probably think that's annoying, but I can't help it. It's just how I talk and I get excited. All right, let's get these ghosts from the past out of the way and, you know, the Dark Magician pull out of the way real quick. Let's just get that ghost rare. Just knock it out. I've been waiting to do it. I'll be very thankful if we pull that. I'm just saying. So now Avalon Dryas, we have a Dragoonity. We have Hieratic Dragon. Metaphors Fusion. 
Sunbind Thrasher. Okay. Still thankful. Don't worry. I'm still thankful. Do have a lot of Legacy of Darkness, so we're going to do those early. Kind of save some of those singles or double packs for later. It's got a lot of good stuff like Labyrinth of the Nightmare and Magic Ruler today. Some very quality stuff. One, two, three, four. I think it is even Magic Ruler. It's not Spell Ruler. We have Robo Yaru, Fiend Comedian, Wolf Axe Wielder, Within That Axe. We have Secrets of the Bandit, Serpentine Princess, Spirit Ryu, Spiritual Energy Settle Machine, Super Robo Lady, and... Ooh, Bottomless. Very nice rare. Bottomless is a very solid one out of Legacy of Darkness. Okay, let's do Ghosts from the Past. Very cool. Here we go. Oh, we have Cosmo Tin Can. Time Thief Hack. Hierotic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. Hierotic Soil of Banishment. And Necroz of Rebear. Okay, that, that, you know, normal Ghost. Of the, I'm going to do the last Ghost from the Past because I feel like if we go two in a row, it's our best chance. It's our best chance of getting the Dark Magician Ghost Rare, guys. Here it is. Our Grave Dragon. Come on. Metaphors, Phantom Knight, Fog Blade, not a not even a one dollar card anymore. It's crazy. Gigantis and Laval Archer. Okay, well I threw those in there, and the same thing happened as usual. Even though we did pull a Ghost Shirt recently, but not the Dark Magician, unfortunately. Okay, Legacy of Darkness. I don't actually know if these are hobby or retail. I could probably figure it out from the code, but I don't really know the codes very well in LOD because you know you just look at the box usually. Twenty four or thirty six doesn't really matter that much. Unless they're loose packs, then it's hard. Robotic Knight, we have Devil Snare, Devil Snare, Soul Demolition, Convulsion of Nature, Throw Stone Unit, Super Robo Yaru, Bark of Dark Ruler, Wing Minion, and... I don't know how this card is in every single Legacy of Darkness pack. It makes no sense. And back to uh, some of you guys, or at least it was one person saying they were tired of old school openings. I hope you're not because we did the 11 box opening. Those will all be coming to the channel as their own videos. So if you miss that or if you only got to see part of it, those will be there and there'll be prices. I'm going to try to do PSA prices as well for like PSA 10s probably. I know they're not all going to be 10s, but you know, we're going to guess some prices there by like, you know, or do research on them. But you know, it's always a guesstimate with PSA prices. Soul Eater, a living wonder of mystery. So hopefully you're excited for those. Probably going to do this beginning of December. December 11th, 1st through 11th is the goal right now. Uh, it might change, but then you guys can see an LLB opening, Magician Force, all that stuff. Royal Tribute of Desla Kuda. Metamorphosis, already a great pack. Very nice. Servant of Catabolism. Disturbance Strategy. Gravekeeper's Guard. Ooh, a Sasuke Samurai. That's a cool super. I used to have this one back in the day in my, I think it was like, I pulled it or something. I don't remember where I got it from, but I, it was a hollow, so I wanted to keep it like with my good cards, but I didn't want it in my deck because it was, it was 500 attacks. So it was in my deck box, but it wasn't in my deck. Okay, two foils, not bad. I will take that. Let's see if LOD can come in clutch for us. One, two. So far, LOD has not pulled us anything, I think. Dragon Dwelling in the Cave. Spirit's Invitation. Let's see if you can change that Legacy of Darkness. Tornado Wolf. Bubble Crash. That's us. Ominous Fortune Telling. Mysterious Guard. Stamming Destruction, we have Spring of Rebirth, and Array of Revealing Light. LOD at it again, just destroying us. Okay, Pharaonic Guardian was good. Are these all first eds up here? These are all first eds. We have, oh, let's do this one Invasion of Chaos pack. How about that? This is an unlimited Invasion of Chaos pack. Not the first ed. What can we get? Oh, we got Grinmaju Day Iza. One, two, three, four. Can we get one of the big three? That'd be pretty exciting, even in Unlimited. If we get it out of the first ed pack, I'm going to go crazy. Energy Drain. We have Chaos Sork. Very cool common. Gore Turtle of Illusions. Jade Insect Whistle. Grinmaju Day Iza. Tower of Babel. Fenrir. Crimson Ninja. And mad dog of darkness the 1900 doge okay so we have two foils so far they're loose packs so you can't really expect too much but it's nice to see foils already i'm hoping we can turn it up and get a secret or an ultra out of any of these hopefully it's something good you know if it's a secret because there are potential for some not so good secrets i'd be happy either way though if we get a secret at all it's going to be nice out of lod they're all good so i mean all two of them ready for intercepting i would like to intercept this secret rare pull right here Nutrient Z, that doesn't make sense at all. We have Warrior Digreffer, Dragon Dwelling in the Cave, Dragon's Rage, 40 damage straight to your uh, health points. We have Rikishin Clown, Heart of Clear Water, Ominous Fortune Telling, and Fatal Abacus. Okay, okay, Fatal Abacus. That's what accounting will do to you. Let's go to, uh, let's do a Legacy Darkness pack because we haven't done, or Lab of the Nightmare, I should say, because we haven't done one yet. These are the weird ones from Tactical Evolution. So yeah, you can tell, sliminess, 
terrible quality control. We got a bent card back there. Maybe we got a ghost rare out of here. It'd be pretty crazy. Worm Drake, Curse of the Mass Beast. These feel so disgusting. I say it every time. They feel so slimy. Amazon Archer, we have Blind Destruction, Bait Doll, The Forgiving Maiden, St. Joan, Lady of Salem of Flames, and On Thanksgiving, too. You got to do it to us like that. You got to give us the L. I mean, come on. Come on. The slimy L. Giving it to us like that. Oh, oh, that's painful. Let's make up for it with... Let's do a first dead ancient sanctuary. Let's do it. This also says 449, so they didn't di differentiate between the first dead at this point. At, point. at this point, apparently. I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. I can't speak, so, you know, I'm just trying to enunciate it's making it worse first edition let's go one two three four i love an enemy control it'd be really cool we have sand gambler wall of revealing light rocket jumper monster gate pretty good card goblin thief two thousand needles seven the longest name in Yu-Gi-Oh history seven order smash Deep in nightmare. It's a nightmare. No, an L and then a nightmare. Oh, this isn't going well, guys. This isn't going so hot. Legacy of Darkness. You can turn this around. We have a first ad Legacy of Darkness too, so maybe we're saving it for that one. Let's see. There existed a boy. Now it's time to duel. Okay, here we go. We have Ready for Intercepting. Nutrient Z. Ruxin Special. Or a Digrepher. Dragon Dwelling in the Cave. Throwstone Unit. Super Robo Yaru. Bargadark Ruler. And Wing Minion. And Lesser Fiend. Not even Greater Fiend. We had to get the Lesser Fiend. I feel like these rares are insulting us. Come on, rares. Give us something that, like, you know, we'll be excited about. So far, we've gotten two supers. It's been a little bit rough. A little bit rough on the pulls. Pharaonic Guardian. Give us Don Zalu. Give us Ring of Destruction. Come on. It'd be cool if it was a hobby Ring of Destruction pack. Charmer Shopti. We have Pyro Clock of Destiny skipping a turn. Different Dimension Capsule. Swarm of Locusts. Cry you well. Buster Rancher, Poison Mummy. These cards are really beat up on the bottom. Call of the Mummy, speaking of, and Gravekeeper's Watcher. It's watching us get destroyed on Thanksgiving. All right, I'm gonna do LOD. We're gonna do MRL. We're gonna be down like one of each other than first eds. Maybe we'll do Ancient Sanctuary too, just so we have one of each. One, two, three, four, please. Spirit's Invitation, Twin-Headed Wolf, Inaba White Rabbit. I've always heard that was a short print. Bubble Crash, there we are. Serpentine Princess, please give us a secret Spirit Ryu. I want Yada Garasu, Spirit Energy Settle Machine, Super Oba Lady, and another Super. All right, we'll take it. It's a foil. It's one in Behemoth. The uh, Once Per Duel Clause, right? Once Per Duel. There we go. Very cool. It's, not, it's kind of an interesting effect. All right, let's open our first Magic Ruler pack. This is an original logo, too. This is pretty fun. Let's see what we can get. 2002 Magic Ruler pack. Unlimited, but Blue Eyes Tune Dragon, even unlimited MRL is very, very nice. We got an upside down card. One, two, four. Here we go. Ceremonial Bell. Darkness Approaches. Kokto Dama. Octo Burser. Penguin Knight. Igaboon. Queen Bird. Whiptail Crow. And come on, Blue Eyes Tune. Ooh, our Tune Mermaid! Ultra rare! There we go! That's an ultra rare that we're looking for. Oh, wow. You can sort of tell on the effect monsters. When I saw the effect, I was like, this looks like a foil. And not only was it a foil, it was a nice one. Tune Mermaid, look at that hollow foil shine. That sounds, sounds, it looks incredible. Look at that. That is so nice. That is an amazing pull. Toon Mermaid. All right. Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for that one. How many times can I say that, guys? I don't know. I'm going to say it a lot. Okay, let's do the other Ancient Sanctuary first ed. Then we'll have to do the LOD, and then we'll be down to one of each pack left. Let's see. First ed, AST. Enemy controller. Mazera Deville. End of Anubis. Oh, look at that card. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Here we go. Lady Ninja Yay. Mermaid Knight. Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. Arcade Archer of the Forest. Absorbing Kit from the Sky. Goblin Thief. 2,000 Needles. Order to Smash. And come on. Draining Shield. Draining our Life Force. Last double pack. One more LOD Unlimited. We do have a first dead left. Here we go. We still have that IOC first dead pack as well. Dragon's Gunfire. Has LOD given us anything yet? A Twin Head Behemoth, right? Wing beat a giant dragon. Dragon manipulator. Life absorbing Paris. Skull nine number two. Dragon's rage. Ryukishin glam. Heart of clear water. And 
the dragon's bead. Okay, that one's not too great. Let's do LLB first, just because it is a reprint pack. Still have a few packs left. We have one of many of the original. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine of the 11. Wow, one, two, three, four. That's pretty cool. We're only missing MFC and Pharaoh's Servant, looks like. Vile Germs, we have Petite Angel, Succubus Knight, Mystical Moon, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Fiery Yaru, Dark King of the Abyss, Goblin Seeker Remedy, and Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh, a Swords of Revealing Light. We just pulled this one yesterday in the mystery box opening. Swords of Revealing Light is making itself known. I will take it. That's a beautiful looking card. All right, that's nice. Three supers, one ultra so far. Let's see if we can get a secret. That would be pretty nice. I think I was a, a little bit above. I might have had like 26 packs, something like that. I forgot to count, but there was around a booster box. So if we can get a secret and ultra, be right about booster box ratio reasoning. Go format. Been seeing that card a lot in openings recently. Master Kianchi. A Living Wonder of Mystery, Arsenal Bug, Bugatayu, Narrow Pass, Molten Behemoth, D-Tribe, and Dark Designator with a really poorly cut edge, which what's new with Pharaonic Guardian? All right, I want, oh, we had, we had two Pharaoh Servant, never mind. We were missing something else too then. We were missing Metal Raiders, of course. How do, I forgot Metal Raiders somehow. Okay, Dark Crisis. Yeah, obviously we didn't have Metal Raiders. Let's see, we have Nintendogs at the front. One, two, three, four. This feels like a newer pack. This might've been in the uh, Glass Special Edition stuff. Those are sometimes EN, not sure. Zolga, Desert Archfiend. We have, it has the uh, red banner, so maybe it just feels different. KS, we have Checkmate. Nintendogs, the Nintendogs. These are a little like warped, it's kind of weird. Maybe that means there's a foil. Contact with Exodia, let's get Necros. Dark Scorpion, Arsenal Robber, and My goodness, we actually did get it. I this card loves me. This card loves me. Exodia Necros. Let's go. Unlimited. I can't believe this. What is with our Exodia Necros luck? This is insane. First Eds, Unlimited. I just pulled this card. That is amazing. Okay. I said maybe it's a foil because of the warping. Maybe it's Exodia Necros. It was. That's one of my favorite old school cards. That's such a cool card. I finally got the PSA 10 version, and it's one of my favorite cards in my collection. Not only because it's I just like the card, but I pulled that card as well, first edition and graded at 10. So that's just the best feeling. Okay, that was a good, that was nice. Okay. Loud of the Nightmare. That's so cool. So we're now up to two ultras, three supers. Now if we can get a secret, that'd be sweet. Necros, what a cool card. All right, one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get that ghost. That would be, oof, that'd be a Thanksgiving opening. Crimson Sentry. We have Collected Power, Miracle Dig, Lightning Conger, Rocks and Special, St. Joan, Fusion Gate, Empress Mantis. Fusion Gate used to be like a $5 common. Spirit of Flames. Oh, and we got one of the weird foils. Jar of Greed. Check that thing out. It's so weird. It's so like faded. It's fade is not the right word because then you think Metal Raiders and all that fading. It's more like it's dull. It's like it's faded is cool. This is this is not. I mean, it's cool because it's unique, but it's like dull. So we now have four supers, two ultras. All we need is a secret and we have the perfect booster box ratio. All right, I'm going to do Pharaonic Guardian. I mean, IOC would be the one that I would pick the secret, even though it's probably going to be an invader of darkness. I would still take that, though. But Chaos Emperor, if that's like a loose hobby, can you imagine? One, two, three. I highly doubt it's a loose hobby, but it could be. Good start with that Pharaonic Guardian pack. Metamorphosis. Sort of Catabolism. This is one of our better old school openings we've had in a while in terms of like just pulling decent cards. Guard, we have Catabill Omen. Started slow, but reasoning again. Master Kianchi, Living Wonder and Mystery. And Coffin Cellar. Oh no, not the Coffin Cellar. Four remaining. I think we should do Ancient Sanctuary because I mean, it's the least exciting of the original 11. Does still have some really nice cards though. Let's see if we can get a Night Assailant in here in our common section. One, two, three, four. We have the Ultra Rux and Special. How, it's been a while since I've done this. Ultra Rux and Special. Let's see if we can get that Night of Sound I was asking for because I just put the rare to the front. The Ultra Rux and Special. There's a Labyrinth of Nightmare. Interesting. Um, looks like we're not going to get that. I okay, we're not going to get that either. Okay. At least it was just Ancient Sanctuary, right? Okay. Oh, it's been so long since I've done that. All right. Magic Ruler Unlimited. Blue Eyes Tune, please. That would be a good secret to pull as well. One, two, three, four. Pulled it a couple times in first head as well. Said as well, two sentences in a row. It sounds weird. Horn of Light, we have Sonic Bird. Tyone number two. Electric Snake. Ancient One of the Deforest. Fire Kraken. Dark Witch. Let's go. Curse of Fiend and Mega Ryuan. It's a tune, but not the right tune. Okay, two packs left. First edition Legacy of Darkness. Here we go. Let's go. Yato, I would be fine with Yato. Injection Fairy Lily is our secret as well. In this 
sort of custom booster box thing we've done. We have Secret of the Bandit. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this Thanksgiving video. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you guys are doing on Thanksgiving, what you enjoy about Thanksgiving. If you even participate in Thanksgiving, we have Cave Dragon. Skull Knight number two, let's go, come on. Yada, Dragon's Rage. Second coin toss, That the second coin toss, we get a second chance with IOC. If this has a foil in it at all, we're gonna be happy. I've randomly had good luck with loose uh, Invasion of Chaos packs or like blisters and stuff. We pulled Levy of Dragon Daedalus like two times randomly. I feel like we pulled a, a Guardian Angel Joan one time. It's never been a big card though in a loose pack. So one of the big cards, I would take, I would love Demok. I do not have a PSA 10 of that. That's the only one of the big three I don't have, but I have the other two, but I would still love to pull CD. Never pulled it first dead. And obviously Black Luster Soldier we have pulled but I would be very okay with pulling it again. So let's see if we can do it. We have multiplication advance. Here we go, guys. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more old school openings. Multiplication advance. We have Terror King, Salmon, Recycle, Ruxin and Special, A Hero Emerges. Come on. Chaos End, Big Koala, Thunder Crash. Might be after this, Blazing Apache. I think it is. Demok. That's the one I want the most. Well, CD is probably the most, then Demok. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, Getsu Fuma. Okay. All right. We whipped on that one. But overall, I cannot be mad pulling six foils out of a bunch of loose old school packs, especially with what we ended up getting. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffets of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Liu Guan 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Jr. Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.